Sensi Independent Consultant. I wanted to come live today and show you my flash sale haul, which is sitting right next to me in a giant box. I didn't go too insanely wild. Um, I just went a little wild. So, um, yeah, UPS just dropped it off, and let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, let me just quickly make sure that I'm actually live, and then we'll, uh, we'll jump into it. Alright, and you can hear me, so we're good. Okay, when you jump on, well, no one's gonna see that, so I'm not even gonna say it. But I'm gonna wait a couple minutes to see if anyone gets on. So, how's your Saturday? Someone got on. One person did. Um, so yeah. I'm super excited. I'm going to hang out with some friends tonight. We're going to watch a movie. Um, the one with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. I don't remember what it's called. The Lost Something or... I don't remember. Um, either way, I'm super excited. I haven't been to a movie in such a long, long time. And then we're going to go have a game night at one of our other friends' houses. So super duper excited about that. All right, I'm not going to wait anymore. Um, we're just going to get right on into it. So um, I'm going to try. I actually have the box tipped over so I could reach into it without having to like, you know. Um, so I'm going to uh, just like pull. It might be random, but you know. That's it. Okay, so uh, the first bar I have is a Coastal Strawberry. Coastal Strawberry was one that was uh, I was told about by another consultant on YouTube, and they loved it, and I tried it in a scent pack, I think, or maybe I had it in a bar, but I couldn't really smell it, and I thought maybe I had a wonky bar, so yeah. Um, this one is very light, but it's definitely... Um, it, it's not what you would, it's not artificial at all. It's definitely not an artificial scent. I mean, it is, but it's not like, it doesn't give you overwhelmingly like artificial strawberry. I think that's just a nice, like, it's just a nice soft scent. Um, like if you were actually just going to like open up strawberries and smell the carton. All right, next I did, ooh, I picked up two bars of Blue Raspberry Ice. Uh, this was in Bring Back My Bar not too long ago, and I liked it, and I didn't add it to my club, and I'm kind of kicking myself for that, but it was in the flash sale, and I said, yes. Oh, it's so good. It's definitely blue raspberry. It's nice and cool. Definitely have the ice. It's um, just very much blue raspberry, but it also has a like lemony kind of a note to it. It smells like um, a popsicle, like the red, white, and blue popsicles all the way, hands down, exactly that scent. I'm going to save that one because I never smelled it before. And all right. Then I did see Ambrosia in there, so I picked up a bar of that. And it's not what I remember. That's more like it. Definitely a fruit salad situation going on. It doesn't exactly remind me of Ambrosia salad, but um, it's nice and fruity. There's maybe a little hint of some kind of a, I don't know, like a green or floral or something. Maybe it's just my nose that's, I'm, that's picking that up. But it's really good. Uh, I think I have, <clears throat> I think I have half a bar left. I can't remember. All right, these two are new to me. I have never smelled these before. I don't think I've smelled the one. I, sh I certainly have not smelled Let's Get Punchy. I was super um, nervous to pick up Let's Get Punchy because while I like, what's it called? Paradise Punch. Well, I like, <clears throat> excuse me, Paradise Punch. Paradise Punch has a little bit of a like funky after smell to me. So I warm it for like a little bit and then I'm like, eh. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, Fruit Punch flavored. And I've been wanting Fruit Punch everything, Hawaiian Punch everything. So 
I picked it up, but I've, I'm hearing that I should have bought more, and I'm hoping... Oh, hell. That's perfect. Oh my god, that's perfect. No. <laughs> I should have bought more. If anyone doesn't like Let's Get Punchy, send it to me. Message me. Send it to me. Dude, that is exactly Fruit Punch. Even more so than Paradise Punch. This one is perfect. Let's Get Punchy. Ugh, I'm gonna have to keep that. In fact, I'm gonna message one of my girls right now and, like, just say, just got my haul. Um, let's get punchy is perfect. I need more. Uh, yeah, I need more. I hope, maybe one day they'll bring this one back. It smells like crystal light fruit punch. Like, that's what it's reminding me of. I mean, it doesn't have to be crystal light, but that's what I drink, so. <sighs> I'm gonna need more of that. Okay, if you guys are jumping on, please say hello so I know who's watching, uh, so I can say hi. Um, alright, so I did also get the Up Adventure Bar. I don't, I don't think that I've smelled this before. I honestly, I don't remember if I have, so I, it either is not memorable or just, I don't remember. My first guess is that's gonna be, like, clean clean air type. I'm right. Well, yeah. It's definitely, it's nice actually. It smells like a cleaner that I would use to clean my floors and that's not, I, I don't mean anything bad by that. It's a little bit like citrusy maybe. Definitely got some cleanness going on there. In fact, um, let me just, let me look this up. Uh, is it called Adventure is out there. Let's let's just see if I can find it. Um, Lush tropical notes, Mandarin splash, honeydew, coconut water, and watery green apple. Okay, it smells airy. I don't know about honeydew. I definitely get the mandarin, although it smells a little more lemony to me. It doesn't really necessarily smell orange orange. Not really a green apple either. It smells like a nice just clean like citrusy cleaner type of scent. I'm here for it. I like it. All right next I got two of the Lucky in Love pods. Lucky in Love. Okay these are not These smell more mandarin to me, and if you guys have seen me, like, smell this before, you know that I say it just smells exactly like a uh, love spell from Victoria's Secret, but, um, hi, Angela. I don't get that from these. This smells like oranges. Hmm. I wonder... Mm, there's no way that I can grab that. I have... Um, some pods in Lucky and Love, as well as, I think I have a bar somewhere, stashed somewhere. Um, let's see, it might be on the top here. No, not today, sorry. <laughs> but these smell, I'm getting the, like, I'm getting Mandarin, for show from these. Maybe it's just my nose is like, okay, hi, today it's picking that up. <clears throat> in either case, really good. Uh, it does smell like Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. Uh, maybe I'm just being weird. Um, alright. Oh, gosh. How are we gonna do this? Uh, I did pick up a few scent circles. I didn't grab too many. As they fall out of my hand, I didn't grab too many. Um, so let's go through those. I grabbed two Perfectly Pomegranate. That is available in wax. They're they're still available as far as I know. Uh, I don't think that one's discontinued, right? No, it hasn't. I was looking for a catalog to like double check, but it has to be. Uh, Jade and Jasmine, that was the scent of the month. I really, really like Jade and Jasmine. It's, it's pretty good. Um, that was a pretty good one. Uh, I did pick up three Pink Haze. Pink Haze is a nice, like, girly type of almost sugar s sugar scent. If you're a sugar person or Aqualina Pink Sugar, you will definitely like Pink Haze. I feel like it's got marshmallow or vanilla or something like that in it, in it as well. 
Um, a jeweled pomegranate. My mother purchased jeweled pomegranate hand soap and still has it on her kitchen sink from I don't know how long ago. I mean, she uses it. It just lasts forever. Oh, Angela, I'm so excited for you. Uh, yeah, definitely. Ugh, I can't wait. I love to just swim in, like, giant orders. It's amazing. Anyway, jeweled pomegranate. It's really nice. I think it has some cinnamon to it, um, or, like, some kind of a spice, but otherwise pretty. I picked up two butter pecan scent circles. I really like butter pecan. Uh, I normally, and especially in the warmer ones, don't go for anything like caramelly or sweet or gooey or anything like that, but butter pecan is really good. Actually, we just finished a butter pecan um, hand soap from a maybe a previous flash sale. Uh, no, 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 it was from the, the Harvest Collection. Um, at work and I had it in the men's bathroom and everyone was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I want to eat the soap, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, don't do that. It's soap, but I'll get you some, I don't know, butter pecan ice cream. Okay. And then next up similar is almond croissant. Almond croissant is a really nice, just like, it's similar to butter pecan, but it's not so ooey gooey sweet. Um, and yeah, another good one. Definitely. Uh, pick up a little bit of an almond. No, excuse me. It's 12, 12, 12 right now, and I'm still on my first cup of coffee, albeit a giant cup of coffee. I think this is supposed to be like a soup cup or I don't know, whatever. All right, so let's start jumping into the rest of this stuff. I think that's pretty much all for fragrance. If it's not, we'll go from there. Uh, these were a must for me. I, the stack wall fan diffusers, I bought two of them. I think they were like, <clears throat> excuse me again. I think they were like six bucks or something. I got, I think I got, I got one warmer and two warmers and some like diffuser stuff. Um, mostly I went. I mean, like I said, I didn't go too crazy because I didn't want to over just, I can go nuts in flash sales. And this one was probably the best flash sale since like 2019. So I was definitely like trying to hold back, but the uh, wall fan diffusers were, or this particular wall fan diffuser was, I think it was $6 and I don't know why it was like everyone why it was in flash sale or it didn't do well this is what it looks like it is called stack um it uses pods and you can stack one or two in there it's got a little fan similar to the sensi mini fan diffuser and then the shade or cover goes on top of it like so and it's got a little um, button with the light yes absolutely definitely the best in a while um but yeah these were super cheap and i was like ah uh, Okay, let's go. Hello. Um, I like to use them by our litter box. The cats are cats. The cat is stinky sometimes. So these are great by the litter box. Um, you can leave them on always or you can leave them on and turn them off or you can even you can even grab a little smart plug from Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, what have you plug that into your outlet plug this into that and then set it on a timer. I'm sad I missed that. I wanted one for my laundry room. Are they still... I mean, they're not that cheap anymore, but... You can always grab one from a... What's it called? Um, like a party. I think you have your own parties, so... Do that. Let me see. Is there anything else still good on clearance right now? A lot of buddies. Wow. Mini warmers, Christmas stuff, a lot of Christmas stuff. The bricks, some donut spot. Oh, yeah, they're gone. But, um, call me. We'll talk. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm super excited about those. That was such, such a steal. Let me just get this back in the box real quick. Put that right there. Put this right there. 
Anyway, oh, as I was saying, you could get a, a timer uh, or not. Well, you could get it. No, not a timer. A smart plug. Plug that into your wall. Plug the wall fan diffuser into the smart plug and then set a you know schedule so that it only comes on certain days. That will absolutely prolong the life of your pods because I know while they do last quite a long time, I think 120 hours, um, you can prolong it even more because I mean like my warmers and stuff, I don't leave on while I'm sleeping. I know some people do and I used to, but I just, there's no, I guess there's no point now. Like I just, well, that's a lie. One, I leave on always, but uh, my other one, they're all on smart plugs and they are all like they come they turn on when I'm about to get home, maybe 30 minutes or an hour before I get home from work. And then they turn off about 10 o'clock when I go to bed. And I have honestly been saving so much wax. So, I mean, I'm not here. I wanted to smell the Lucky and Love pods again. I don't know why I was smelling Mandarin. I guess it was because of the up. Okay, anyway, getting off track here. Um, next is an etched core mini warmer. I grabbed, I thought I got two of these because I think, again, they were like $5 or $6 or something like that. So I wanted to grab a couple, but I guess I didn't. This is what it looks like. I love the etched core warmer. It's so classic. I mean, look at this. You got, it's etched. It just, it's ceramic. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I have the gold one in our entryway right now, entryway right now, and I, I'm. They do get a bit warm. They do get hot, um, but you know. We don't have little fingers in our house. The only potential issue would be the cat, but she has been around warmers her whole. So sorry, I got a phone call. Um, I, the only like little, the only little fingers we have, little fingers, the only little issues that we would have was, would be Autumn, the cat, and she's been around Warmers her whole life. So um, she doesn't do anything to them. All right, super glad I got that. Uh, I wish I had picked up another, but that's all right. There are some Warmers still on the sale, but unfortunately not flash sale pricing anymore. All right, next up is the Jane Warmer. This has been in the catalog since forever and ever and ever ago. Um, I have, believe it or not, never owned one of these, and I'm kind of excited to see it. So, holy mackerel, this is huge. That's that OG Scentsy dish. Come on now. It is a ceramic dish, which I am obsessed with. I really, really prefer ceramic dishes or ceramic warmers in general. They, I feel like, hold the heat a lot more. The wax just gives off more of scent, I think. Um, it could just be like my, my head playing tricks on me, but that's, what, that's how I feel about it. Um, so this is what the warmer looks like. It's got a transparent little window, so you can see um, just a little bit of a light through it. I don't have a plug, unfortunately, that I can access at the moment, so I can't show you that. But, uh, you know, it's just got this little pretty design on the front. Um, it looks to be like a just, not bronze, but, you know, something to that effect. Uh, and this giant Scentsy dish. So the plug's inside, that's what, but that's what it looks like when it's, or what it would look like. That's a decent sized warmer. Um, I'm actually really, you know, <clears throat> I keep changing out the warmers. <laughs> Y'all know me and I have, when you walk into the house, it's kind of like a, our entryway kind of like does this thing. So I've got a plug-in warmer here, a full-size warmer here. That wasn't my idea. That was my mother's, but, um, or my grandma's. So she put one, she put the little garden warmer there. And then when you walk in, maybe, I don't know, 10 feet or so, 20 feet, there's another full-size warmer there in our, like, I don't even know what you call it. It's not like a, it's, I don't even know what you would call it. There's a little couch there, but it's all open. It's very, very open. So it's not really a living room because it's all connected. It's just another section. Hold on oh, one moment.
Okay, so sorry about that, guys. Um, my mother kept calling me. My grandmother kept calling me. Like, I, I'm talking to a bunch of people <laughs> on YouTube. Okay, um, so that warmer that we have in, like, our extra living room or something, um, I keep changing it out because it doesn't really fit in with, like, the, the home decor, and I feel like this will be a little bit better suited for all of the tastes in the home. So, that is the Jane Warmer, and I think that was like 10 or $12. Uh, again, a steal. So, let's put that there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. Uh, big. Awaken Diffuser Shade. I have, <laughs> when I first heard about the diffuser, well, it was when I started my, you know, I started back up, but, um, I, I was like, I really want it, but I can't afford it, but I really want it, but I can't afford it. Um, and I just have now somehow acquired several diffusers and, um, I have even more shades, and I change them out all the time. Now, this looks quite different than what I thought it would, but, I mean, that could change based on the, um, holy mackerel. That may change based on, like, the, the lighting of, you know, the diffuser and whatnot. This thing is heavy. You can see the, the, I don't know, ceramic mortar, <laughs> uh, whatever they're using, but it is mosaic style. Um, you have all of the little pieces in there. This was dirt cheap as well. I think another maybe like 10 or $12, where it was normally, they're probably 50 bucks for a shade. This is quality here. This is heavy. This weighs at least, I don't know, at least three pounds, four pounds. Um, wow. I wonder if I can, I'm going to move this light for just a second and see if we can kind of like look at this with the light. Uh, you can't really see, but my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm excited to throw that on my diffuser. Right now I have the new diffuser shade on it. And it is this matte, gorgeous, a beautiful shade. Okay, let's put this away. And we're almost done. We've got just a few more things. Where can I put this? What's that from? Don't remember. Okay, yeah, just a few more things, and then we can get on about our day. I love Hamish, the Highland Cow. Picked up a, a buddy clip in Hamish. I've had a buddy clip in before. Mmm, vanilla bean buttercream. I was like, sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream? Okay. Um, Hamish is so precious. I have the full-size buddy. I have another buddy clip. He's hanging in the back of my car. He's about to get replaced. Um... Maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't really need to smell him. He's in, he's hanging out in the back of my car. I have a big decal, and um, he just kind of, like, waves to people. But, uh, yeah. Hamish the Highland Cow Bitty Buddy. Mmm! So good. Love me some vanilla bean buttercream. Love me some sugar cookie every now and again. Plus, I think for, like, the kids' stuff, it's totally cute. You know, like, who, what kid doesn't love cookies? Or just vanilla in general. All right, then I picked up a couple of bags. I thought I got more stuff. Um, I picked up a couple bags of Scentsy Soak. So I got Shimmer, which is like the perfect, like, just ugh, nice girly scent. It's cherry, apricot, white musk, and sponge sugar. Love, 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 love Shimmer. I've never taken a bath in it, though, but I needed to make more um, samples. So these are how I make Scentsy Soak samples. I have... Winterberry apple tea. That's all I had, and I needed to get some samples out. So I'm glad that these came in because now I can make a little bit more of a like normal sample. Um, 
which I don't even know. Let's look and see what, uh, are these two available? I don't know. No, they're not. But at least it's not like a Christmas scent. And then I got Go Go Mango. Can't even help myself with Go Go Mango. Y'all know I love me some artificial mango. So I'm super excited to be able to make normal samples now. And then the last thing that I got is a tub of washer whiffs. The picture was different and I wanted it to be that picture, not this one, but whatever, it's still cute. I am not the most giant fan of windowsill breeze. It's nice, but it's not my favorite laundry scent. Um, and I also had aloe water and cucumber whiffs in there, but I, those got taken out. I just, I couldn't make it. So, uh, windowsill breeze washer whiffs. I'm excited to make some samples with these. I'm excited to use these. Um, they are, uh, scent, uh, it's a scent booster for your laundry. It actually smells really good as a washer whiff. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm on crack. The bar, the wax bar of it is a little bit too much for me, but these are, these are perfect. It smells like a nice clean laundry. Um, so there's little, uh, salt crystals basically, and you put them in your wash. You can add as much or as little as you like. Previously when I've used whips, um, I didn't really get quite a good scent payoff because I think it has a lot to do with our water here. I'm in Albuquerque and our water is very, very hard. Um, like to the point where when I use my deluxe diffuser, it will create a white mist around or on top of things if it's running. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it as to why I don't get such a huge payoff with it. But I'm going to try these again. Um, maybe the new washer and dryer will have some sort of great effect on it and um, I'll be in love again. So um, otherwise you can use these like, well, I mean, not officially, but throw these on your carpet, let them sit there for a little while, vacuum them up, um, all of the things. I mean, they're not officially versatile, but you can make them versatile. I have heard of people putting them in your, to in their toilets. I don't, I don't recommend that one. I don't know what it does as far as your, you know, plumbing goes. I guess if they're going in the wash, they're dissolving and I don't know. I would just use them in the washer or not in the toilet, I guess. Uh, or use them in the toilet. Let me know how it goes. So, um, that's it. That's my whole entire haul. Uh, I am super excited that it came in today. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I, um, I'm so excited to have it. I'm going to change out my wax. I'm going to throw a load of laundry in. I'm going to make some samples and I am going to get to it. So thank you guys so much for hopping on today. I love talking to you. Um, I know that uh, sometimes it's hard, but you know, love life. And I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. So uh, thanks.